With Logo 6, you get a new and improved WordSense tool that lets you see alternate meanings for Greek and Hebrew words, as well as exposes every place where these meanings occur. For example, imagine you're reading through the first chapter of the book of Acts, and you come across the term brother in verse 14, then again in verse 15, and again in verse 16. You'll notice in verse 14, it's fairly clear that the term brother here is being used in reference to a physical relative, while the use of brother in verses 15 through 16 refers to a fellow believer. In both cases, we have the same English term and the same Greek lemma, which is the word adelphos. To see all of the different meanings for this Greek lemma, I can right-click the term brother in verse 14, then in the context menu, select the lemma adelphos, then click Bible Word Study from the left. In the new Bible Word Study Guide report, I can scroll down and expand the new sense section. This reveals a sense ring with all of the alternate meanings for this Greek lemma, and I can view these semantic domains below. From this ring, I can see the term Adelphos refers to a believer, a physical brother, an Israelite, a neighbor, and sibling believers. I can click on one of these senses like believer as brother and read a definition for this sense as well as see all of the occurrences of this sense in the New Testament. So essentially what I have here is a lexicon and concordance in one. I can see different meanings for Greek and Hebrew lemmas and see all of the Bible references where these meanings occur. In this example, the Greek lemma Adelphos carries the meaning of fellow believer 78 times in the New Testament, and most of these occurrences appear in the book of Acts, signaling how often Luke refers to believers in the early church as brothers. In addition, Logos allows me to search for the word sense information in a Bible search, so I can open up a new search panel, select Bible search, and type the search operator sense, followed by a space, and the term brother, and enclose this with angle brackets. From the options that appear, I'm going to select the sense option, believer as brother, then hit enter. And now I have every occurrence of this sense in the New Testament. So when it comes to defining terms in their literary context, or exposing alternate meanings for Greek and Hebrew words, then seeing where these meanings occur, the new Bible Sense section is the best tool for the job. To get a base package that includes the new word Sense section, click Get Logos Now.